So I flew to Los Angeles to be in a music video with Beyonce. And while I was there, I wanted to get representation from a dance agency so that I can book more jobs. And no one will represent me because of my size. I want to be the pioneer for plus size women. <laughs> My name is Akira Armstrong and I'm the founder of Pretty Big Movement. Pretty Big Movement is a full figure dance company and Pretty Big is my baby. I eat, sleep, and breathe pretty big. My first dance class that I took was a West African dance. I'm gonna take that, bring it in, and front. <laughs> From that moment, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. And then after that, tap dance came and then ballet. I didn't really care for ballet. <laughs> One, two, and boom, boom. When people think about the stereotypical dancer's body, they think very thin, tall, long legs, long arms, and swing. Growing up in a dance environment, I did feel like my body was a negative. I couldn't fit costumes. My costume was always different from everyone else's. I wanted to wear my stomach out. I have never been able to wear my stomach out, ever. Family members, you know, used to make fun of me and. It was frustrating. I was already a professional dancer already, and that's when I flew to Los Angeles. I kind of got like the side eye, like who's this girl? Like she doesn't really belong. People were sitting behind the desk, they're like, what do we do with her? People look at you and they already judge you based on your size. She's not gonna be able to do the job without even giving you a chance to really prove yourself. I felt discouraged. Is it worth the heartache? Is it worth the trenches and the challenges? Is it really worth it? I think when people doubt you in those moments where you want to give up, you think back and you really reflect and you're like, no, I have a purpose. You know, with all the frustrations and going on auditions and getting told no, I wanted to create a platform for other plus size women to feel comfortable. It was really, really, really challenging at first because I was like, is it any big girls in New York City that can dance? Five, six, Seven, eight, and one. I started with auditions. The first rehearsal was just trying to get the trenches, what looks good, what doesn't look good, so we don't look like we're amateurs, like we look like we know what we're doing when we perform. When they see us perform, I want them to be inspired. I want them to feel like if they came in the room thinking that these big girls ain't really gonna do it, I want them to leave like, I was blown away. You know, the little girl who's watching, like, hey, look, Ma, look, I can do that too. Look at these big girls up there with afros on. Since creating Pretty Big, I have become more confident. I have my good days, I have my bad days where I'm like, should I put on a girdle or not? You would never get me in a unitard five years ago. Absolutely not. But now I'm like, I can put on a unitar, so what? It's about uplifting and empowering women to feel like they can be confident to do anything, not just dance.